This is Sonny Oaks. You're watching NorCal Sports TV. Welcome to the first of the D-League playoff championships here on Court 1. It's going to be the number one seed, the Defenders, coached by Shirley Montgomery, taking on the number four seed, the Rim Rockers, and coach Ronald Henderson. For the Rim Rockers, we have number nine, Landon Peshman out of Oakdale. Eleven is Blake Snyder out of Oakdale. Seventeen, Connor Smith out of Red Bluff. Twenty-six, Ryan Christensen out of Ukiah. Fifty-nine is Micah Ramos from Oakdale. Sixty-nine is Randy Aiken out of Murphy. Seventy-seven, Ever Spear from Chico. And number ninety, from San Jose, California, Jacob Richardson. For the team defenders, number one is Brev Creech from Chico, California. Number three, Johnny Peckham coming all the way from Camuela, Hawaii. Number 24, Judah Allen out of Ukiah. 42, Ryland Martinez from Grass Valley. 57 is Bryson Richardson, Bryson Lambert out of Oakdale. 70, Anthony Aiken from Murphy's, taking on his brother you saw on the Rim Rockers. And 74, Kevin Fang out of Chico. Two zeros to score, 13.42 on the clock. Christensen gathers that pass that came across the court. Ever Spear gets the shot up just a bit short. And it's Brev Creech with the defensive rebound. Judah Allen bringing it up the floor now. Finds Martinez on the wing. He lets it fly. Bucket. Five nothing now. A little walk by, a little fly by by Holden Cook who showed out last game. It's Peshman on the wing, guarded by Martinez. He gives it up. Ramos dribbles around. Ooh, goes off the defender's foot. Kevin Fang ends up with it. He gets it up to Lambert. Lambert pulls it up. Smith with the quick hands, but Lambert, even quicker hands, gets it right back for his team. Creech resets. Ryla Martinez pulls the string yet again. Nobody near him. Bucket. Number 42. So it's 8-0 now. It's an auspicious start for, for these rim rockers. They have yet to get a ball in the basket. You wait too long, it starts to mess with you. And we know they got good ball players out here. It's a number four seed, but four and three and two. Pretty tight. Ramos. Pulls the string, said no more of this. Eight to three. Michael Ramos out of Oakdale. No hesitation. Creech into the paint. Packs down a smaller defender. Kicks it out to Lambert. Jay doesn't fall. Christensen almost grabs it, but it's Connor Smith. Ball swinging around. Not a lot of movement, though. Peshman holding on to it, guarded by Lambert. Tries a little move. Good screen by Smith. Shots up by Peshman. Just a bit off. Creech comes up with the rebound. Still 8-3, to 11-07, and clock is ticking. Martinez saves it somehow. Gets it to Mar Oh, and Peshman wraps it up. Gets the jump ball. So Landon Peshman refused to lose. Possession goes to them, so good heads-up play by Peshman to get his hands in there. Especially on a when he's a little bit outsized. Got in there fearlessly. He's still working on Lambert. Tries to take him off the dribble. Gets by him. Good timely screen by Smith. Christensen has it out on the wing. Looking to create a little space. Picked up by Martinez at the top of the key. Smith wants it on the block. He's got to get by Creech. Martinez in there to help. Smith struggling for it. And we got a jump ball again. So possession will go the other way this time. 8-3 to three is still your score. We have 10-10 left on the clock. Martinez looks like he got a free lane. He takes it. And that's what you're supposed to do when you see that opening. So 
So we got our first subs. Yeah, it's 10 to 3. That last bucket counted. Yeah, 10 3. NCS TV, I'm Sonny Oaks. You're watching the Rim Rockers taking on the Defenders. It's a one versus four seed. Defenders are the one seed. After this, we have a number two versus number three. The Dazzle will take on the energy. That will be at 8.30. There's another game going on on court two. It's the WNBA team, aces versus wings. And we're all done on court three for the day. All right, we're coming back now. 10-3 is your score. NCS TV, Sunny Oaks on the call. Peshman with the ball. He gets the shot off. Not even close that time. You know he can see it by his reaction. He wants that one back big time. Aiken in the game now. Randy Aiken. Along with Jacob Richardson, Everspear, Connor Smith. It's Fang, Martinez, Creech, Peckham. And Anthony Aiken. So Randy taking on Anthony. They're guarding each other. Fang in the paint. Can't get it, but Peckham there with the putback, and that's good. 12-3 now. 9-10 left in the first half. So that'll be the matchup to watch there is Aiken on Aiken. Some really good kids. Their parents should be proud. It's Randy Aiken with the ball now. He has to pick up his dribble, peck him all over him. Ever Spear trying to get by his defender. Fang won't let him. Aiken comes over. Anthony, oh, but he does. He finally gets it to Randy Aiken. Bails him out. peshman has got a reset at the top of the key. He's picked up by Martinez. Oh, he gets by all his defenders. Ball's up, and we got a whistle. Illegal screen coming the other way. Unfortunate. Ryland Martinez coming up with the ball. They got plays. Peckham at the block. Oh, in and out. Gets his own rebound, and he's fouled and won. So Peckham gets two there. Good chance to make it three to match his jersey. 14-3, under eight to go in this first half. Johnny Peckham showing good form. It's just in and out. Creep. With the putback, and it's good. 16-3 now. It's all defenders so far. Showing you why they're the number one seed. Their coach, Shirley Montgomery, has got to be proud of how they, how they run the plays and help each other out on defense when they need it. Ever Spear gets to the rim but loses the ball. Creech coming back with it the other way. He's got a couple teammates running with him. He gets it up to Fang. Easy buck. Oh, he misses the bunny. Connor Smith. You know Kevin Fang wants that one back. That's very uncharacteristic of him. I don't know if I've seen him do that all, all week. Peshman pulls it in and out. Martinez with the rebound. Gets it up to Creech. Peshman going for the steal. It's Martinez now. Kevin Fang on the wing. He lets it fly. Bucket. 19-3 now. It's a little over six and a half left in this first half. It's been all defenders. Randy Aiken with the dribble. Guarded by Peckham. Almost loses it. Tries to give him a little shoulder fake. Goes left. Lose him for a moment, but the help defense by Fang is good. Ever Spears with the ball now, trying to go baseline. Kevin Fang says none of that. It's Randy Aiken up top now. Still guarded by Peckham. Connor Smith wants it on the elbow. Ever Spears gets it, but Kevin Fang with quick hands knocks it out. Ever Spears somehow maintains control. Ryland Martinez says, nope, that's mine. He gets it up to Fang. Only one defender to beat. Oh, that's two in a row, but Peckham there to clean it up this time. 
21-3, less than six to go in this first half. Frustration starting to show here on the Rim Rockers' faces. They know they got to knuckle up on defense here, get some stops. Randy Aiken trying to set the def uh, the offense up. It's ever Spear now. Tries that baseline move again. Kevin Fang right there every time, though. Aiken pulls it. Oh, just, just off. Ever Spear with the offensive board. They get to reset. Randy Aiken showing off some handles. Needs to get a little space. Calling for the low screens. Gives it up to Spear. Spear goes right again. Guarded by Peckham on the switch. Has to pick up his dribble. There's Randy Aiken. Bails him out. Oh, he gets a little space. The little flip and it's good off the backboard. Randy Aiken. Looking like, looking like Steph Curry there. It's 21 to 5 now. First bucket in quite a while. I feel like 10 minutes almost for the Rim Rockers. Once you get another one, I say once you get one in, but that's only the second one. Martinez in the lane. The floater's good. 23 5, 423 left in the first half. Time for subs again. Oh, uh, maybe that was the other court. I get confused sometimes by the buzzers in our ears. Connor Smith on the block goes up, in and out. Looks like he's going to the line, though. No, no, it's just, just time for the subs. So you're watching NCS TV. This is a one versus four seed. It's been all defenders. Make sure you stick around for the two versus three seed after this at 8.30. That's Dazzle versus Energy. So far, the defenders have had every answer for the Rim Rockers, and the Rim Rockers are are stuck wondering what they're going to do here. It's 23 to 5, and so far they haven't been able to get that ball in the hoop with any success. They've had some good looks. Shots just haven't fallen, and that team defense by the, by the defenders, appropriately named, has just been too much for them to overcome. Ever Spear now. Uses the screen set by Randy Aiken. It's Ramos now. He hit that first three. He lets one go. Can't fall. It's Peckham with the rebound up to Martinez. And now it's Allen. Number 24, Judah Allen out of Ukiah with the ball. Oh, and Ramos picks it. So that's a little ray of hope there for the Rim Rockers. They need to get a few more plays. Like Allen pulls the string just off. A little too much sauce on that one. They get the ball back, though. It's Randy Aiken. Oh, and he steps on the line trying to keep it alive. Tough break there for the Rim Rockers. Judah Allen bringing the ball up now. Ryland guarded by Christensen. It's Aiken on Aiken now. Judah Allen gets it back out. Oh, Christensen gets in the way of that pass. They must not have seen him in the paint. He's going, oh, almost dribbles it off his foot. Has to give it up to Spear. Oh, and Ramos can't handle the pass. It's out of bounds. Tough break. And that's sort of been the story of the first half for the Rim Rockers. Whenever they get a little momentum, a little something like that happens to, to squash it. And the defenders have found ways to capitalize and come back and get a bucket just about every time that happens. So Judah Allen gets it out to Peckham. Mm, turnover. Goes to Randy Aiken. He gets it. Judah Allen with quick hands, but Connor Smith there to save the day. Ever Spear trapped baseline. We got a whistle, it looks like. A little blocking foul. It's a little reset with the inbound. Randy Aiken 
Almost loses it. His brother almost knocks it out of his hand. Oh, he gets by him. Gets the shot up. Just a little too much sauce on it. Judah Allen with the rebound. He decides to bring the ball up here after the rebound he got. Gets it up to uh, Martinez. It's Anthony Aiken up top now. Carded by his brother, Randy. Peckham over Smith. Bucket. 25 to 5 is your score. Randy Aiken now. Picked up at half court by his brother, Anthony. Spear had a little trouble with it, but it gathers. He's guarded by Lambert. Smith with the good screen. Anthony Aiken picks him up on the other side of the switch. Randy gets it now. Anthony guarding Randy. You know this will be a tough one. Oh, he goes baseline, gets another shot off. Allen would have had that, but his teammate Martinez took it from him. It's just good team rebounding and good team defense here by the defenders. You can see why they're the number one seed. Allen dancing around the court, picks up his dribble, finds Anthony Aiken, who drain oh, couldn't get it. Connor Smith with a defensive rebound, much needed. 30 seconds left in this half. It's a 20-point difference. We have rules here. I'm not sure I'll have to double-check for the playoffs, but if there's a 10-point lead, usually the clock doesn't stop. We'll see if that holds in the second half. As for now, with about 15 on the clock, it won't really matter. See if anybody can get a bucket in here before the buzzer. Oh, and Christensen just steps out of bounds on the inbounds. Not often you get to say that. So Judah Allen coming down the floor now. Three seconds on the clock. I don't even know if they'll take a shot. Half quarter. Don't know if it would have counted. You're watching NCS TV. This is a one versus four matchup, D League playoffs. I'm Sonny Oaks. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in about two minutes. Thanks for watching. Back to NCS TV. This is the host with the most. I butter both sides of my toast. It's Sunny Oaks. We're watching the number one defenders take on the Rim Rockers, the four seed. It's been all defenders so far, 25 to 5. It's 17 minute second half. And these rules stand for the playoffs as they did during the regular competition. If it's over a 10 point lead, the clock does not stop. So we'll see what the Rim Rockers can do to get themselves back in the game. Here's the man who hit the first three of the game, Ramos. He lets it fly again. Looks like it got tipped by Peckham. It's Randy Aiken going back with it the other way. So that's a good thing for poor, for the Rim Rockers that they get a stop early. We got a whistle and a foul on the play. It's going to be two shots. Brev Creech. About to take two shots. 25-5 is your score. Make sure you stick around for the third game on court one. It's the number two versus number three seed. Dazzle versus Energy. Twenty-five-five stays. It's Peshman with the ball. Ooh, we wanted to pull, but Lambert quick to recover gets right up on him. It's Ramos, guarded by Peckham. Spear now, up on the wing, guarded by Fang, who's been relentless on defense, hasn't given up any baseline. 
Christensen, nifty, gets into the paint, kicks it out to Ramos, pop a shot, can't get it. Tried to gather it before the defender got in his face. It's been tough going to get clean looks for the Rim Rockers. Court still 25-5. Peckham on the block. Gets it out to Creech. The shot by Randy Aiken. A little off, but they keep the possession. Ooh, Peckham down on the block. Gets it. 27-5 now. These guys still running around even though they're down by 20 plus here. Ramos, you can see he got good coaching, good stock. He's still running. These Christensen, they're running all over. Ever Spear, Connor Smith. There's no quit in these kids. Smith tries to make his move into paint. He does. It's nifty. Just can't get it to fall. You know, it's disappointing when you put the work in and you're getting the moves and the looks and the shots just don't fall, but sometimes that's the way it goes. Sometimes basketball happens and there's nothing you can do about it. Peckham down low, another bucket in the paint for him. 29-5, 14 and counting on the clock. Ramos gets it to Peshman. Christensen out on the wing. Drives in, it's Ramos. You know he's fearless. They kick it back up to Peshman. They're looking for a little space. This team defense is too much, though, by the by the defenders. Connor Smith uses his length. Gets the shot off in again. Good look. Just bounces in and out. Fang on the wing going the other way. Oh, and look at that. Christensen, no quit. He comes up with the steal. He's got no one in front of him. Buckets good. 26. No quit in him. Christensen. Lambert with the offensive board and the putback. That's good. Mikey Ramos. Not too much going on here offensively for the Rim Rockers, unfortunately. They, they've had good looks. Like, that one just hits the front of the rim. They're, sometimes if you didn't have bad luck, you wouldn't have any luck at all, and that seems to be the way of it for the Rim Rockers right now. But you could see, like, that last play by Christensen. They're still trying until that clock strikes zero. They'll be running. Oh, and Lambert goes up for it, gets fouled. He'll find himself at the line for two. Just a little over 12 minutes remaining in this game in a one versus four matchup. This is the D League playoffs, which continue at 8.30 at this court. We're going to watch the Dazzle take on Team Energy. So, time for subs. You're watching NCS TV. You're watching NCS TV. I'm Sonny Oaks. It's been a good week of practice and drills. Hoping that these young men and women leave not only better basketball players, but better people. They showed up as pretty great people, I got to say. Shout out to all you parents out there. You've been doing a great job. All right, so we're going to get coming back here. Ron. Coach Ron Henderson doing all he can to keep his guys in it. You know, keep them, keep their spirits up, letting them know all they need is a couple of these shots to fall. They get a few stops, and that deficit will start to shrink, and they might feel like they can get back in it. Still plenty of time on this clock. They got about 11 minutes left, so they just need to get a couple of shots to fall their way. Jacob Richardson in now with Randy Aiken. 
Ever Spear, Landon Peshman, and Connor Smith. On the other side, it's Martinez, Fang, Allen, Peckham, and Anthony Aiken. And that's Anthony Aiken with the defensive board. And Allen's going to bring it up the floor now. Allen loses the dribble, but somehow recovers. Jacob Richardson almost gets it from him. Anthony Aiken. I'm sorry. Yeah, Anthony Aiken feeds Peckham in. First one misses. The putback's good. And he's going to get M1. Oh, so he didn't make it in. He'll get another shot, though. Under 10 to go in this one versus four matchup. Man, we got a lane violation, it looks like. He's going to not get another shot. Must have been on his squad. The defenders, so Rimrockers get a little break there. It'll be Randy Aiken inbounding to Ever Spear. Ever Spear, dancing and prancing. Landon Peshman, trying to impress them. Gets it across court to Randy Aiken, picked up by his brother Anthony. Ever Spear now. Oh, gets a little tripped up going to be on the floor and he's good refuses the hand gets up on his own a little skin on his knee off his knee but he's good no quitting these kids and these young men Peshman trying to make some magic happen we've seen him play spectacularly all week it's Connor Smith in the paint Jacob Richardson almost gets that one. Peckham with the big time rebound. About eight minutes left now. Jacob Richardson doing some good defense there on Allen. Right in his face, makes him pick up his dribble. Connor Smith on Peckham. Good, good defense to do it, but Peckham gets the rebound, and the putback is good. You can see Jacob Bridges has got himself a fan club out here. I don't know if you can hear the cheers for him. One of the camp favorites out here. He touches the ball. Everybody starts cheering. You love to hear it. You love to see it. A little sloppy in the paint there. And the defenders keep doing what the defenders do. And they defend that possession particularly well as a team yet again. Martinez from deep. It's in front of the rim. It goes out of bounds. Rim Rockers get a chance here. Put a little respect on their name. They need to get some buckets. They got seven minutes left to show the world what they really have. We know they're better than this. They're not quitting. They're still running out here. Jacob, off the ball movement. You can see it. Landon Peshman knows what the crowd wants. He's giving them what they want. That deep defense, though, a little too much. They swarm on the ball handler, create another turnover. And that's just been the story of this matchup. Judah Allen gets it baseline, has to pick up his dribble. Fang from deep pulls the string. Can't hit, but another offensive rebound for the defenders. Martinez put back no good. Connor Smith with another defensive rebound. And let's see if they give the crowd what they want here again, if, if Jacob Richards can get free. You can see Peshman directing traffic, trying to get him the ball. He's guarded by Allen. Allen with those quick hands, though, causing troubles on the on the dribble. He's got to pick it up. He gets it out. Oh, and Martinez right there in the lane to get the steal. Gets it up to Anthony Aiken. His brother Randy might have got away with a foul there, but they do get the putback. Less than six to go in his matchup of one versus four. 
crowd still asking for Richardson. He's got to get free, though. Ever Spear has to pick up his dribble. That baseline has not been a friend to the Rim Rockers. Seems to be the sixth teammate of those defenders. And if you know anything about basketball, it's the way it should be. Ball going back the other way. Little over five minutes left in this 1v4 matchup. It's been all defenders. And they're showing why they're the number one seed. Swarming team defense. Timely turnovers. Good passing. Hey, Landon Peshman. We told you these guys don't quit. Saves his dribble. Gets a defender in the air. Puts a shot up and it's good. Landon Peshman. Put some respect on his name. And we got <laughs> we got a sub time. Make sure you stick around. We still have that two versus three matchup coming up next. Same division. This is the D League. It'll be Dazzle versus Energy, and that'll be the last game of the night. So all eyes should be on court one. This crowd loving them some Jacob Richardson as Miguel Ramos comes into the game. I'm sorry, Michael Ramos. It's Randy Aiken, Jacob Richardson, Connor Smith, and Ryan Christensen, who we've nicknamed Ryan No Quittenham Christensen. Saw that hustle play earlier. It's Martinez, Allen, Lambert, Creech. And Anthony Aiken on the other side of the ball. Look at that. There you go. Christensen telling you. He's still playing defense like it's the first quarter and they're knotted up. They get the turnover. It's going to come the other way. Randy Aiken with the ball now. Ooh, nifty move by Randy Aiken. He gets it to Micah Ramos who started off the game with a three-pointer. Good ball movement on the perimeter. That defense is right there. Richardson, crowd favorite. Oh, just enough. Oh, okay, so he gets fouled. They inbound it. Ramos right there. That's uh, not going to count. Rep didn't, they didn't. They weren't ready for him to inbound it. So here we go. Oh. Ill-time pass. Ball going the other way. It'll be Anthony Aiken to inbound it. Gets it to Martinez. They bring it up. 2.45 left in this game. Oh, Lambert alone under the basket. All defenders all day so far this game. But you got to respect the never say die attitude of the rim rockers. They're well coached, well parented. And they just don't quit no matter the score or the deficit. Randy Aiken trying to get something going. It's Christensen now at the top of the key. Ref says, play on. Christensen gets it to Connor Smith. Goes up. Ball's going back the other way. Under two minutes now. Lambert. Oh, can't hold on to the pass. It goes out of bounds. Rim rockers come back this way. <laughs> so the refs having a little fun with the crowd. The crowd having a little fun with the commentator. Everybody loving their guy, Jacob Richardson. I told you guys, can't favorite out here. Michael Ramos in the paint, showing off some handles. Now it's Christensen. We'd love to see him get off a three here. He does. He shoots it. Drains it. Brian Christensen out of Ukiah. Love to see it. Ice cold. It's Judah Allen gets by his defender. Martinez at the block, and he's fouled. He's going to take two. Under a minute to go. This is NCS TV coming up at 8.30. Dazzle versus Energy. That's a two versus three.
Martinez. First of two shots coming right now. First one's good. You love to see free throws go in. Aiken, nowhere to go. Finds Ramos out on the wing. 41 to 12 is your score. Five on the clock. Shot goes up. Two shots for Ramos, but that'll be the game. He'll get his two shots. That'll be it. Buzzer lasted. Yeah, that's the time. If it was a little bit closer, we might have let him get him off, but good try there. We got to love this team. Shout out to the Rim Rockers. That might be the end of their season out here. So let's go over the roster one more time so you don't forget their names because these kids never quit no matter the deficit. Number nine was Landon Peshman out of Oakdale. Eleven was Blake Snyder out of Oakdale as well. Seventeen was Connor Smith out of Red Bluff. You know, number 26, Ryan, I got no quitting him. Christensen out of Ukiah. Fifty-nine was Micah Ramos out of Oakdale. Sixty-nine was Randy Aiken out of Murphy's. Seventy-seven was Ever Spear from Chico. And can't favor at number 90, Jacob Richardson from San Jose. Much respect to them, much respect to their coach, Ron Henderson. But it was all team defenders. So for NCS TV, I'm Sonny Oak. Stick around. We'll be back in a few minutes with the two versus three, Dazzle versus Energy. Don't go anywhere.